The materials for this project will be a piece of pine that's one by three by eight. That's a nominal measurement. When you buy boards at a lumber yard, they're sold in nominal dimensions. Nominal means in name. When you buy a one by three, you aren't really buying a board that is one inches by three inches. That's just what they call it. The actual measurement of a one by three is three quarters of an inch by two and a half inches. So even though this isn't really one inch by three inch, we call it a one by three. That's the nominal dimensions. Okay. As you read through these instructions, refer to the drawings. The drawings are on the back. Take a minute and look at the drawings in your packet before you continue. Our first step is cutting to length six and three quarter inches long. In other words, we need to make this board instead of almost eight inches long, we need to make it six and three fourths. Step two, choose a piece of one by three that is at least seven inches long. Cut it longer to start with. This is called a rough cut. Step two, put your name and period on the face of the board right now. There are going to be 120 of these things floating around the shop soon, and you don't want to have to do this twice, or three times, or four. Step four, use a tape measure to mark exactly six and three quarters inches in length. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to do this upside down. I hook my tape measure here, and I measure back six and three-fourths of an inch. Make sure that you're going more than six inches. Sometimes people will go six and go backwards this way. That's incorrect. Six and three-fourths of an inch. And with my tape measure, I might want to double-check because this tab slides. I might want to double-check my measurement by putting the 10 on the edge of the board and making sure my measurement is exactly right. So this one is off just by a tiny hair. Okay, And I'm going to circle my marks as I go. Okay, Next I'm going to use a combination square to make a perpendicular mark. I'm right-handed, so I'll turn this this way so I can give it, get a better angle. And I'm going to slide that right there and make my mark a six and three-fourths of an inch. Okay, next I'm going to use the miter box and saw to cut the board at the six and three-quarter inch mark. Set the miter box on the edge of the bench and push the block towards the back of the box. So the miter box goes right there on the bench not up here, right here. And then that block goes in here like this. It says leave half of the line width when you cut. When I cut, the saw blade is going to take some of the wood and turn it into sawdust. So I want to make sure that I'm leaving the line on the board. If I cut here, I'm cutting too much off. I'm going to slide that right in until it's right there and I'm just going to try to just barely touch that line. Okay, and now I'm just going to use slow, steady strokes to make that cut. As I approach the end of the cut, I'm going to slow down so I don't cut into my miter box. Okay, and as you can see, this miter box has been cut all the way through into the plastic. It's just about ready to fall apart. And you should always check your work with a square to make sure it's correct. So that's a good square cut.